Hello YouTubers, Jim from Ohio here with another real quick video. A few weeks ago I did a video and uh, provided some instructions on how to make compost tea using a five gallon bucket. And uh, I showed a box off to the side of me and I said that I would come back and do another video with what was inside of that box because I was so excited about it was a new product that I found and it was for gardening and it's something uh, kind of a new innovation it's something that will change the way that you garden if you're into gardening or growing your own vegetables and you want good organic healthy vegetables this is something that you're really going to enjoy um, let me put the camera on a, a stand that I can hold and I'll uh, give you some close-up shots and tell you all about this new item. This is another version of a compost tea brewer, but before you think that that's all that it does, I need you to stay and listen to this entire video because this compost tea brewer is something that you've never seen before or you've never seen anything like it before. There's so many different things that you can do with it besides simply brewing compost tea. Now if you'll remember in my last video I said the downside of the five gallon bucket method for brewing compost tea is you just never get enough of it. With a big yard and a large garden there's always a need for more compost and more compost tea. Well this unit has a 27 gallon container down below and then it has a five gallon bucket up top. Now off to the side here I have, uh, this is called a vortex bucket and this is an optional item uh, for this entire brewer when you purchase it. Now I would like to make a note up front that this is an item that I found that I paid for online and while this is going to sound kind of like an infomercial or a, a commercial promoting this product, first of all it is, uh, I am promoting this product but I'm not being paid to do so. I've worked nothing out in advance for any kind of um, uh, payback or affiliate commission at this time because this is just something that I found I like. It looks like something that I'm going to really enjoy using and uh, I found that I like it a lot so I'm going to promote it for the inventor of it. Now, uh, what this thing does, in addition to being a simple compost tea brewer, it's also a delivery system. So you can uh, brew your compost tea and then broadcast it or take it and pour it on your garden if you want. But if you've ever seen any kind of a hydroponic system or an aquaponic system or one of those bucket garden systems where water goes to your, actually is delivered to your plants, where your plants use the nutrients in the water, that's what this thing can do in addition to brewing compost tea. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you uh, this system, uh, how it's put together and how it works. And then uh, I'll, I'll take you kind of a tour of the person's website to show you some of the many different uses that this can be used for. Now, uh, where, where this has the advantage over hydroponics or aquaponics, see I've always been interested in hydroponics, but I never liked the idea of using chemicals. I've always wanted to be an organic gardener and I've wanted to uh, make sure I grow things chemical free, pesticide free, or herbicide free. So I try to find different ways of doing that and compost tea is one of the best methods I found for a natural fertilizer and maintaining the healthiest uh, food that I grow and even the flowers and stuff that my wife grows all around the yard. Um, we don't like using any of that bad stuff and that was one of the downsides to hydroponics that I never cared for. You had to always buy the different chemicals and mixtures and um, either water, uh, mix it up in the water or they have some delivery system similar to this but everything was done with chemicals and I didn't like that. So then aquaponics came along and it's basically the same as hydroponics only instead of using the chemicals you actually have fish and when the fish poo in the water 
uh, that feeds your plants and then uh, what runs off of your plants the uh, uh, the nutrients from your plants go back into the water and they in turn uh, help the fish uh, that's a really neat system and it, it you can do it in a very organic way but anytime you're dealing with any kind of livestock you have to worry about fish dying because if the water temperature is not right or if the nitrites or nitrates get too high or too low in the water or something's a little bit off your plants are gonna die and your fish are gonna die and on top of that living in Ohio because we have very cold winters here and water tends to freeze it'd be tough to use a system like that year-round well this takes uh, both the hydroponics and aquaponics to a different level now I also mentioned the bucket garden system. I've seen a lot of people online and actually I tried it once using the uh, rain gutter garden system is what it's called where you have rain gutters and uh, you uh, hook those up to your hose so your hose with a float valve uh, will keep a certain amount of water in the rain gutter and then you put a five gallon bucket with a hole on top and a net cut uh, that uh, sits down in that uh, gutter that keeps water going to your plants all the time and that's well and good and it was a very very good system but where I had problems with that system is the water that sits in those rain gutters becomes stagnant over time it doesn't move in any way you can set it up so it auto uh, if the level of the water drops it automatically raises but the problem with it that water sits stagnant it never moves in that gutter and in and because it never moves over time it'll grow algae it'll grow mold um, if you don't have some kind of netting over the top it's a breeding ground for mosquitoes and that was some of the things I didn't like that uh, with that system well the person who invented this came up with a way around that as well and uh, well let me just show you what how this works and uh, what this system does so um, the main component of this system is the uh, brewing system which is what you're looking at here minus this bucket right here as I mentioned this bucket right here uh, I kind of got it crooked when I move stuff there uh, this is called a vortexing bucket and this is uh, something that I cobbled together on my own based on what I saw on his website but he does have one of these that you can get on his website that's already pre-made and probably isn't as floppy as this and and would work better than what I put together but um, I'll explain what that's for as well but uh, this uh, brewing system what it does it's basically an airlift system so I'll take the cover off of it and uh, pardon all the gurgling sounds it's just how the thing works but basically what's going on in here is you can put your compost directly into this bucket you don't have to use a mesh bag like we used in the last bucket uh, or the last compost brewer that I showed you with the five gallon bucket now you can if you want to use a tea bag but you don't have to so I just took two shovel full of compost and dumped it right in the system um, it has a filter down in here so anything any large sticks or anything that you have are not going to go through and clog up your pumps for this because you've got a filter down in there now in uh, in case of anything large like sticks they'll float to the surface and it's just a matter of scooping them out and tossing them aside uh, but in any case the filter system keeps anything from going through and clogging up your pump which is down below so what's happening is the, uh, the there's a pump down in this large catch basin that is taking the water from down here and through this tube right here it's pumping it up to this bucket and this is where it comes out this is what is called a compost wand and so that's simply transferring the water from the reservoir down below up to the upper bucket well this chamber right here is your air chamber so you've got a large air pump right here that pumps air through this tube and it goes down and it, it uh, there's a fitting down on the bottom I'm not sure if you can see 
it from there, but what that does is air is rising up this tube, and along with that air, it's pulling water up. And that's what's gurgling out this opening right here. So this is basically working the same way that those air stones work in the last brewer that I made. Only with this, you're getting a whole lot more percolation action going on. Between what's percolating here and what's coming out of this wand, this is really keeping the system percolating well. And in addition to the compost, we've also got the uh, molasses down in here that's going to feed the uh, bacteria as the bacteria is produced. Now, the inventor of this has also added a float valve system here. So right now, the water that's coming out of this uh, wand, if for some reason, if something clogged up in the system, what would happen is the water would rise up until this float valve hits the top. And at that point, you notice there's no more water coming out of this wand right here. Well, it'll start back up now since the float valve went back down. But so there's no way to accidentally overflow this bucket. Um, so everything's percolating up here and as the um, as the water rises up, as the water level rises up, it goes through this tube system that has the filter and it goes down this tube and it, it comes out uh, this uh, spigot valve right here and that's what's feeding our vortex bucket. Now if I didn't have a vortex bucket, what I could do is I could actually have piping or tubes uh, going out to any type of a grow system, be it a gutter garden or, well, I'll go online and I'll show you where you would uh, exhaust this to feed your plants. But uh, the vortex bucket, what it's doing is it's adding more percolation. It's uh, kind of creating a vortex and the water level has dropped on this because of what I did with the uh, float valve there. But the water spinning around in a vortex, that's just adding uh, more kind of cyclonic action, uh, more percolation. It's just uh, helping uh, create uh, more aeration in the water. But uh, there's been some studies, and you can go online to learn about vortexing water and structuring water. A vortex will actually structure water and cause the... Uh, I'm drawing a blank on what they're called now. The, uh, it, it lines up the molecules in the water, basically, is what it does. And it actually makes the water wetter. And with the water being wetter, it makes it so that the plants can pull it up into the root system much more efficiently, more effectively. So that's what this is doing. And as it uh, goes down, it's kind of like a toilet flush, and it goes down, and there's just a system of pipes down below. Uh, this is where it's coming out, and it's just adding more percolation down below. So with all the percolation and circulation going on, this is what is uh, this is what we're using to create our compost tea. Now we're going to let this brew, uh, same as that five-gallon bucket system, uh, overnight. We're going to let it go for about 18 to 24 hours before it's going to be ready to use. This system, just like that uh, five-gallon bucket system, you can add anything else you want to it. Right now, we just have compost in there. Um, but uh, I always like to kick up uh, the uh, nutrients in my compost. So what I've got here in this little pail, I've got a mixture of kelp meal, and I also have some worm castings, and I'm gonna just go ahead and put that down in here and let it kind of percolate along with the rest of that compost that we've got. And uh, the really nice thing, I don't know what that is right there. Uh, somehow we got a big, oh, okay, that was just a, a big lump of the uh, worm castings. Uh, but I'm gonna just go ahead and dump that down in there. And uh, just like any other uh, brewing system, we can add other kind of fertilizers if we want. Uh, I'm gonna also add some of this stuff right here. This is a uh, fish fertilizer and it is a natural organic uh, base fish fertilizer. Anything you can do to uh, kick up the uh, nutrient level in your um, compost tea uh, will really do wonders. 
So I'm just gonna take it and, and dump some of, it, some of it right down in here. And the nice thing about this brewing system is it's gonna percolate, it's gonna uh, circulate all through the system and all of our compost uh, tea is, gonna, is, is just gonna be loaded with nutrients ready to deliver to all of our plants. Now, uh, you can mix uh, uh, bird or bat guanos to this. Um, you can do, um, if you've got access to uh, manure, uh, like say some cow manure, uh, that would be something you could put in here. Anything that you would naturally put in your garden, you can also put into this system. Now, uh, that's uh, percolating away here. Um, looks like maybe some of that kelp meal uh, clogged up uh, the filter a little bit because uh, I probably should have uh, uh, put it in a little bit slower than I did. But uh, anyway, that stuff's uh, gonna uh, keep brewing along there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of put this lid back on here to uh, keep some of the water from splashing out. But um, let me take you online to this guy's website and show you some of the uh, other applications for this that he has found. Now, uh, before you go to his website and order this, uh, well, first of all, I want you to see what the capabilities are. But before you order this, I want you to watch this video to the very end because at the end of this video, I am going to tell you how you can get a discount if you want to order this or any of the other items that this gentleman has for sale on his website. But uh, let's go online and take a look and uh, see what, uh, uh, what he's got online. Okay, here we are in the computer now, and the first thing that I'd recommend everybody does is go to YouTube, and uh, when, I guess you're already on YouTube if you're watching me, but uh, when you have a chance, do a search in YouTube for River Ponics. And at the top of the screen, you should see River Ponics growing systems, and I would highly recommend that you go ahead and subscribe. You can see I'm already subscribed to them. Uh, but uh, I'd highly recommend that you go ahead and subscribe to this guy and anytime he has new videos uh, ready to post he'll uh, put them out there and then you can automatically be notified if you click the little bell you'll actually get an email whenever he posts a new video and I, I'd highly recommend that you do that he does already have hundreds of videos online and I'll kind of scroll through and uh, uh, anytime he uh, he posts a new video with updates in his own garden he'll go ahead and put a video out here but as he develops new products or finds new ways to use the uh, brewing system or the river ponic system he does update his YouTube channel quite frequently but uh, he's got lots and lots of videos and uh, this this video right here is one that will kind of explain what the uh, river ponic system is all about um, unlike a lot of the other systems that are out there uh, with river ponics um, water flows through a river and it always flows and you notice on the side the banks of rivers are always more abundant with uh, teeming with more vegetation and uh, more growth and that's because of all the nutrients that are delivered in a river and in his system you can see uh, one of his uh, grow channels uh, up here in this video but you can go and watch it at your leisure but the uh, nutrients or the the uh, liquid solution from the compost tea brewer will flow through this channel and when it gets to the end it does a u-turn and it heads back down the other side of the channel at the other side of the channel it actually returns to the reservoir uh, within the brewing system so it can be re-energized and uh, recirculated it is a closed loop system and so it'll go back and get more benefits from that tea and then uh, come back through the channel and deliver it to your uh, plants that are growing uh, in the system. So this is very much, uh, well, I'll, I'll say it's similar to the rain gutter garden system once again, but uh, the difference in that rain gutter garden system is the water sits and it's stagnant and uh, where with this it's constantly flowing like a river. 
So he has a lot of different videos out here. And uh, now I will warn you when you go out here and look, some of these videos are posted by other YouTubers rather than uh, this is one by Matt, the person who actually runs River Ponics. Uh, but you'll notice a couple of them here that are by other uh, people. And now these are people that have actually bought systems from uh, River Ponics and they've produced their own videos. And, and so I want to warn you that uh, some of the videos are uh, about growing cannabis. Uh, this is a system that can be used for that too. It works just as well. And Matt does, uh, since uh, growing cannabis is legal in the U.S. now, he does support that industry. And uh, so he does sell things like uh, grow lights and grow tents and any Anything else you would need uh, for growing cannabis uh, but uh, he's got a lot of videos out here explaining exactly what river ponics is in this video he talks about deep water hybrid growing so uh, in some times uh, or some situations you're going to grow right in a liquid solution say if you're growing lettuce you may not have any soil at all uh, you may be using like uh, clay beads or something like that. Uh, or you can grow in soil uh, that are, uh, your buckets of soil are placed on top of the grow chamber. Uh, and um, uh, he also uh, promotes in addition to soil media, uh, soilless media, he actually shows you how you can grow or how to put together your own uh, soilless media. Um, and uh, there's there's just so many different uses uh, for this product. Um, here he talks about uh, the uh, auto flower organic grow. Um, I think that has something to do with cannabis. But uh, he talks about all kinds of different ways to use the system. It looks like here he's got a, a indoor growing of some sort inside of a growing tent uh, where he has his brewer over here feeding the buckets inside of the tent. Now he does also uh, produce a larger, I think a 35 gallon brewer and a 50 gallon brewer. So if you are running a farm or any type of a commercial grow system, uh, you can uh, use uh, uh, one of his systems to support that. Here uh, looks like uh, somebody growing in clay pellets, so that would be a soilless mixture. Um, here he talks about structuring water in his um, vortexing bucket, but uh, I encourage you to go out there and just, uh, there's hundreds of videos out here that he's posted on uh, how his system works and what it does and the benefits of the system. Then you can jump over to his website. His website, uh, you can go to just uh, riverponics.com. And uh, here it looks like I've jumped to the page that has the brewer. So this is his five gallon closed loop brewer, um, like the one that um, the one that I purchased, the one that I showed. Uh, here he's showing some of his other systems. And uh, don't let these prices scare you. Uh, I've worked out a, an arrangement with uh, Matt, the owner of this company. Um, if you mentioned that you uh, saw any of his uh, products on my YouTube channel, um, what you can do is uh, when you're on his website, uh, instead of placing the order and, and ordering through the shopping cart, uh, what you can do instead is go to the contact page. And uh, once you go there, uh, look up here, and uh, his phone number is right here, and his email address is right here. I'll also try to post it down below in this video uh, but uh, give him a call or shoot him an email and let him know that you saw uh, his products on my video and he will give you a 10 percent discount on anything that you want to order from his website now he does have a lot of other items that uh, are not on his website but he may have in a video somewhere so that's why i encourage you to go to youtube and watch his videos um, but uh, some of the growing systems he has out here, for instance, uh, this is a basic growing system. He's got the uh, uh, compost tea brewer, which is the heart of the system, uh, pumping that uh, lifeblood of the system into one of his channels. So uh, what's happening here is you see this black tube right here. That's the feed tube going down into the channel. And uh, this uh, solutions will circulate through this channel. It'll go up to the end. It'll do a U-turb. Uh, and it'll come back. And then you see another tube right here. 
and that's just uh, taking the uh, solution that has already pumped through the system it goes back into the brewer and gets re-energized with uh, whatever you have in your brewing solution uh, or in your brewer over here so it gets re-energized and just keeps circulating through the system uh, as long as you need to do that and then every week or two you uh, change out that solution and uh, brew up a new batch of compost tea and uh, put uh, your fish fertilizer or whatever other organic fertilizer you want to put in there and uh, just uh, keep keep growing uh, here he talks about uh, his uh, vortexing bucket and he's got his uh, vortex bucket and you can click here and watch his YouTube video on what structuring the water is and uh, you can see here kind of how that bucket is made looking at this I was able to figure it out and kind of put my own together uh, but uh, I think that if you order one from him you'll probably get something a little better than uh, what I put together but he looks like he has that available in a three and a half gallon bucket size as well as a five gallon bucket size depending on um, uh, how much uh, compost tea you're brewing uh, he has propagation systems out here so this would be for if you're uh, starting your own seeds like at the start of the year when you're uh, wanting to uh, start all those tomato and pepper plants you can start them uh, indoors in your basement in a system like this get them growing until they're ready to go outside in the garden and uh, you can see it looks like he's got this growing in, or set up in his basement so you can use this indoors or out or in a greenhouse in a growing dome whatever you want to do and uh, this is just uh, looks like a gallery of some of the things that he uh, has done with it it looks like he's got uh, some systems set up in a, actually in a warehouse or something looks like indoor lime trees he's growing uh, I don't know what this is it almost looks like uh, maybe tobacco or something looks like he's got some squash plants growing there but uh, you can see the benefits of this system and uh, you know some of the uh, practical uses of it you know he's he uh, you can buy these racks from him if you want you can buy as little or as much as you want if you just want to get the brewer like I did uh, you can do that uh, I plan on ordering a lot of his growing channels later on and setting them up in a greenhouse uh, but uh, as I mentioned on some of our previous videos uh, Jenny and I are going to be moving later on to a different house and I, I just don't want to have to uh, uh, have more stuff to move so I'm kind of uh, in limbo or on hold uh, from ordering more of these items that uh, he's got available out there but uh, I encourage you go take a look at his website uh, go take a look at his uh, River Ponics YouTube channel and uh, subscribe to the channel and then uh, if you're interested in one of the brewers like I got or you're interested in any of these other growing systems like he has out there uh, give him a call he's a real nice guy he'll help you out wherever he can and uh, he'll get you set up and ready to grow whatever it is you want to grow and however much of it you want to grow but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop off of here let you explore on your own um, and uh, I want to thank you once again for being one of my subscribers if you not a subscriber I'd like you to go ahead and subscribe to me today and as I uh, post more videos um, you'll be able to get notified by YouTube as soon as those uh, videos are posted uh, but uh, thank you much and enjoy the rest of your day